What's wrong, Burke? Well, camp is almost over. I'm really gonna miss it. But more importantly, what's gonna happen to us? That's a pretty ominous and foreshadowy question. But don't worry, I have the perfect thing. I'll just dust off the old Gloomsday device what? and uh... No, what? No, what? why would you even make that? Like, why would you do that? I mean, it's, it's even got a red button. Why make a Doomsday device? Hey, I said Gloomsday. Pay attention. Oh. Plus, engineering's a dark art, Professor Snape. Sometimes you feel sad and doomy and gloomy and you need a solution. Well, I, I guess it's all right. Wait, no, it has a scary red button. No, I don't, I don't like this at all. I don't trust it. Listen, it'll be fine. Just don't touch any of these buttons or switches, especially that one. Yeah, it that. even has a red button. Like, since when has a red button ever been good for anyone? Listen, just deal with it, Burke. What? No, no! Ah! Ah! Why? Why is it everywhere? It's so cute and pretty. It, it, is, it is a little nice. Ah, yeah, I guess it's all right. All right, you know what? Makes me feel a little bit better, Paloma. Thanks. You're welcome, Bert. don't ever do this again. We'll see. Anyways, we're going to have an awesome day. We're going to learn about structural hats and soft circuits. Let's go out to Quick Tips with Emily. ideas, Emily. I can't wait to get started. Boy, soft circuits. That's not hard. That's awesome. Yeah, there's so many cool ways you can use soft circuits. Maybe you can add some circuits to your clothes or to a blanket. You can make a gift for your friend or for yourself. Or maybe you want to add something to already an existing project. Maybe put some LEDs on it. And if you do that, be sure to upload those photos and videos to our Maker Camp community. Yeah, and at the end of the week, we want to see your creations. So be sure to send them to us for our Wearables Wonderland. See you later, campers.
Welcome back, campers. We hope you had as much fun as we did today. So uh, what did you make today, Burke? I made a future hat from the future today. It's pretty good. Not monorail good, but pretty good. I'll allow it. Yeah, what's really neat about this, it's got some LEDs on it, it's blinking, and the way you fold this hat, um, it adjusts for head sizes. So if you have a head that's about as large as mine, which is the planet Jupiter, it just kind of slides on and there's no problem whatsoever. What about your hat? Yeah, well, I saw this really cool idea for a hat online, and so mine's not as futury. It's more cowboy-ish. Uh, because it's got like these folds up here, but I thought it would be really fun to try something new and go a little bit rustic with it And the cool thing about this one is it's got these folds in here So you could put LEDs inside and then do cutouts and then the light could shine through it in a really cool way uh, So being really structural with your hat designs can lead to a lot of different ways to to adapt to it Yeah, this is not the only LED pattern you could put on a hat. I mean, there's Tons of different ways. And honestly, it depends on how many LEDs you have and how many you want to use to power it, you know, and how you want to power it. I got a battery in there, and uh, hopefully it won't uh, reveal itself too much. Yeah, there, it looks like you hid the batteries in the folds here so that it's mm -hmm. just taped together and stuck in there, yep. which makes it really easy for you to change the batteries later if they end up running out throughout the night. I think that's really awesome. And then these flaps, too, you could like push them down to make ear flaps or fold them up kind of looks like a penguin sometimes. Yeah, if you paint the top black and then have this the same color, have little wings, you have these white, it looks like a penguin. Yeah, I really want to see someone with a penguin hat. I think that'd be super cool. And one of the other things you can do with these hats is that these folds kind of allow it to have a different personality. So if I wanted to have it be slightly different, I could kind of do it like this, and the hat adjusts for it, which is kind of nice. Yeah, that hat is really customizable, and I think it looks really cool like that. Yeah, it's almost certainly regal. Definitely. And, you know, it's kind of a challenging fold for that hat, and same with this one. It can be a little tricky to figure it out. And, as always, if any of these projects are too difficult or too easy, we have a ton of other projects on the MakerCamp.com website, so check them out. Now let's see what you did with yesterday's projects. campers I love what you've been posting on the community page so much creativity and enthusiasm yeah so much creativity speaking of that what'd you figure out today Paloma that taunting butterflies in the sky that you can go twice as high is kind of a rude thing to say hmm. yeah that's true and if you want to upload your own photos and videos be sure to do that to our maker camp community where you too can become internet famous and finally get hitchbot across the United States you can also leave your questions and comments for me Paloma a person who's one LED wearables project away from being identifiable by the space station Use hashtag MakerCamp for your Instagram, Twitter, G+, ICQ, CRM, MMO, computer words. See you later, campers!